action. I do too. And they're both going to be fighting against each other, not only for that title of, uh, not only for the crown, the title of the Autumn Royale King, but also for the trophy here. We can see it right Ooh, there. This three, Autumn Royale two, Championship one, trophy will be going to the winner of this grand final set. Uh, Godly oh. coming in from the elimination side is opening up with the Rayman. So I love this. So, I love this. And, and this is like, I, I was giving it a lot of benefit of the doubt, but I also love this. I think it's been the character that he was playing with the best today. A lot of innovations on the signatures. He has history with the character as well. And a dominant three over Meg D might just mean it's your best character in this moment. Yeah, and I just love the fact that it shows he's still got something up his sleeve, you know? He can shift to this, have a different play style. If it didn't work out in the previous set, you know, it's something else to try, especially yes. when he has to win two sets. Yeah, and the Chun Li is still there, still ready to go. The only thing that I would be hesitant to see again is him locking in the Mordex one more time. So game one here between <laughs> Loras and Godly, opening it up so far with Loras with a solid lead, but the neutral lights from Godly come through, and he's trying to get that sidelight nair to get that guaranteed combo. Oh. Spot dodges the downlight, but Loras follows up with the end light to be able to get even more damage and that D-Light recovery will take the first stock of the game. Yeah, that was absolutely crucial. Godly was starting to bring back the damage lead that Lorez has built, but Lorez determined to not let it go. Got the first knockout and now looking to turn it into oh. so much more. Laura is the only player who I will see gravity cancel a bow side light a frame before landing to catch your yeah. opponent off guard. I mean, he just wanted to get that timing there exact. And now look at him go. Got even more damage on the Godly here. And Godly struggling to get the same startups that he had against Meg D. A lot of the strategy that I think was working for Godly on Axe against Meg D just kind of falls apart completely against a player like Lorez who moves just so differently. Uh, but that yeah, side to come I mean, through. I, I guess that is fair because you do have a lot longer range to contest with, right? Where the axe was the longest thing, the, the farthest reaching thing on the field against Meg D. Uh -huh. Right now, it loses to both the spear and the bow in distance. We might only see the Rayman for one game. Yeah. <laughs> this is a, oh, this is a lot tougher. Like the axe has been non-existent. I think like less than 50 damage. And the gauntlets was, well, they're, they're kind of getting chewed up right now. Laura's on the bow is looking unstoppable. Golly's putting up these side and Laura's just like, where are you punching? I'm in the air. I, 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 that neutral light's not even going to be able to knock him out here. And Godly's already almost in orange. The oh Agno comes gosh. through, gives it the wall touch, and does the damage. And Laura is just like that. Oh, Wait, oh. Misses the wall. Unfortunate, but he had so much room to play with. You know, it's it's like, oh, He actually happened, just didn't want to give Godly the satisfaction it. of having a point on the board, actually. Oh, no. Right? Oh, no. Not like this. <laughs> he's looking at that. He's like, yeah, I don't know. The three stock might not happen, but I can stop you from taking one. Uh, side light comes through. The down sig. Great. Punished by Godly. He's going to need uh, about 17 more of those. He wants to be able to bring this back. Nice. But I, I do like that. We saw in his previous clip. Oh, wow. Laura's actually using every single signature. The side sig. The side sig punishes the unarmed side light of all moves. And yeah. then he was like literally like as the signature was in the mid animation, already reaching for his water and going ready for the next <laughs> game. Like Laura is ready to just dominate him. And that's that's rough because Godly coming in from the elimination side doesn't have games to spare. Right? This isn't like if Godly got the game one and it was like a near three stock, okay? This is three, this is Godly two, now searching one, desperately for the answer. He's like, I need heavier weapons. He's coming through and now he's on the Roman Reigns, bringing in the Ooh. Taros to fight against Loras, who has kind of destroyed every Taros that's come against him so far. Okay, I mean, look, it's it's got a little bit of extra range. You know, the hammer and the axe both oh. reach real far. I got real nervous there on the off stage. Oh, the double D-like ground pound. One more. Oh, oh. the Loras unarmed nares him right on the way back. And now they're both fighting off stage unarmed. Axe picked up. Godly opts to deny the weapon from Loras instead. And the stair catches him without a dodge. And that's going to be the stock. Absolute wow. damage. That's the thing. You know, Kaya, high defense, high speed, like, G. She is a tanky legend. You've got to watch out for that. And Roman Reigns can cut through that defense. Oh, and Laura's low on jumps right now. Was trying to catch him there, but Laura's pogos. Downs it comes through. Nice landing sideline. Stop Sarah. Godly with the hammer. Really starting to put the pressure onto Laura so far. But the down will catch Godly. I think Godly wanted to dash backwards, but like, I don't know. He like turned around, just stayed in place, and the blizzard just caught him completely off guard. And that's going to be a stock for Laura's. Yeah, but Godly still managing to maintain a massive damage lead here that just keeps getting wider. Yeah, Godly, like, I feel like he picked this Taros pick, uh, and he's like, he's like in a hurry. I feel like after that last game, the way he's playing right now, he's like, I have to make up for how embarrassing that game one was. Like, that's oh, how it man. feels like right now. He's like, I can't just let it go down like that. I have to win this Royale. I can feel that pressure coming through, and Lorez, um, 
just oh as eager. I cannot believe it. He finds those snipes because he's so good at his character. He knows exactly when it's going to knock out. I didn't think that was going to knock out there, but the distance was perfect. And now he's taking the lead in game two. I can't believe this, CWK. Oh, Godly's man. getting wake-up hits, and he's still not getting the knockouts. Tries to find it once again. That one, the second time, finally going to get it done. Oh, I feel I, like Godly I, needs this. What, what are you thinking? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, he definitely needs it because I think the reason why he's looking so hurried is he knows he need he needed to take at minimum six games to take the tournament here. And now, since Laura has won game one, that's just one more he, game. He Each to, one extends his road. He has to do it fast enough before Laura gets used to whatever he's playing. Oh, that's true. what I feel like. He just got stared into the wall. He does manage to touch. Laura goes in for the sidelight. Stop scoop. Golly brings him into the yellow. Can he get in the orange? But the sidelight comes through. Oh, he's so good. The dash jump pivot recovery. Nairson's about the left side of the stage. Godly can't find those nairs or down airs. Laura's one strong hit away from oh bringing it to match gosh. point. And just like that, in one of the fastest trajectories to game three match point that I've ever seen. Lorez yeah. has brought Golly to the verge of being 3-0'd. Lorez just looking so incredibly dominant. I don't know if it was he was just looking at the past games. He got to take a break and kind of reconfigure everything in his mind. I mean, observe the Rayman so that way it was a non-factor in the choice. One, oh, he's four. staying with it. He, okay. believe, he believes in the Taros. Here we go, game three. I gotta tell you, it's gotta feel good as Lores when you're fighting against somebody who looks like they're desperate for answers. Switching between, how many characters has Godly played against Lores so far? Has that been four characters throughout the duration of the day? Chun Li, Mordex, Rayman, now on the Taros. But Godly feels confident in the hammer and he had a really strong start in game two. Maybe he can keep that going into game number three because he is down 0-2 and needs to win three games in a row just for a chance at a reset. Stop, Stop side there. That's a quick knockout. And this was about as quick as the, no the knockout was in the, in the previous game too, however. Right? Yeah. There was a 30 second knockout and then Lores just dominated once he got a spear in his hands. Let's see if it happens the same way in game three. Oh my gosh, two side airs. I think we're seeing the beginnings. Ooh, Pogo recovery disarms him. Side stick from here could be pretty huge if he covers that weapon landing, but he goes from there instead. Laura is not the biggest fan of side stick on Spear, just because the downline oh. side air, and just like that, he took a so hammer efficient. side light of damage, and that was it. From a 30 second stock, he returns it with his own. Catching the jump with the neutral light. Once again, popping him with the neutral light. Neutral light after neutral light comes through, and Lores falls in, gets that side light, goes for the end light. Neutral light connects from Godly, and he gets that nair, double nair. Okay, tries to get that triple nair, anti uh, anti aerial, and Lores just combos the hell out of him. Holy I love cow. that chase because you know if you get the dodge, you get a three piece punish. Oh, but stop! Nair comes through. Okay, Godly could take the lead here. No dodge on Lores, but oh, doesn't that was matter. Neat. Godly wasn't ready to down arrow. Yeah, he used the gravity cancel down light almost to like keep his trajectory low mm -hmm. back to stage. Godly goes for the D-Light ground pound. That could Again cost him. off the wall. Reversal stare. Goes in for the gravity cancel down heavy. Unarmed recovery. Is Godly going to fumble two, two edge guards into losing the stock? He has a third chance here. Gets the downer after the Agno comes through from Lores, and that's going to be the stock. But man, did he take too much damage there for that, I think, to be worth it. That was that was rough. Lores has been equalizing stock so fast. It is dangerous situation. We're in dire straits here because Lores... Oh, Oh my gosh, he almost it. got the knockout there. He's up two games. He's in the winner's bracket. All right, here we go. Lores could 3-0 Godly to win the last Royale of the year before BCX. All the way through winner's bracket. Neutral light hits, double neutral light. Godly gets the Ooh. dare. Edge guard opportunity. Goes forward, he gets clipped by the speed recovery, but that stops Sarah could give here Godly go. a chance. Once Sarah comes through. Godly's got the damage, he's got the lead, he's got the disarm, and the edge guard. Oh, could go Not through yet. again. Lores barely outspaces the stop. Double Nair. Triple Nair. Gets the down light side air. Oh edge gosh, guard. Not like this. Dodges the side air, has to avoid the recovery. The down stick goes the wrong way, and Godly with the D light end sync. Not enough to knock out. I mean, Terra's down stick here feels like the obvious answer. <laughs> and, and he goes for it, and Laura's knew it. It was too obvious. Down stick comes through. Is that going to be oh it? Oh my gosh! That's the game. And after trying to go for the Hail Mary down stick, he gets hit by Laura's very own. And that 3 0 means that Laura's is your 2023 Autumn Royale champion. Incredibly holding that trophy well high. done. So hard fought. And man, what a path through the bracket. That wow. was insane. And just like that, Lores, I mean, at best, predicted to get fourth by many, right? Yeah. If not even out of round robin pools here at this event. Comes through and wins the entire thing, giving South America another Royale Championship. Woo.
man, when it really comes... just filling out that South America trophy case. I mean, yeah, and it's, it's so incredibly well done. Lorez on the Kaya, I mean, and Kaya's kind of gone through the gauntlet. I mean, it, uh, looking at Impala's, Impala's performances, Acno's performances, and Lorez's performances, Kaya has not gotten buffed this year. <laughs> that's right. that's yeah. all to say, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's one of those things where it's like, despite all that, where a lot of players have put the character aside, Lorez truly just says, this is how I play Brawlhalla. This is my main, yeah. and he makes it look so good. And all the adjustments where he's kind of like, okay, the signature doesn't knock out where I want anymore. I'm going to gravity, gravity cancel it as high as I want it to, so that it can continue to do so and he's able to get that win over godly 3-0 after he he lost two to three one barely three to two and then three o's him in grands that's just a testimony to how great lores is yeah i mean that that acceleration just for the fastest